Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah Perry, Queen of Arts, and today I'm gonna to be talking about Venus retrograde. Now this period is gonna last for about six weeks and it only comes in every 18 months or so. And it is a time to be reflecting on value. Value of your relationships with yourself with and others and to be considering what is beauty <laughs> and really looking at the beauty within this isn't a time to be beautifying yourself from the outside ra drastically changing things changing things up buying new um, material things to help yourself feel better because you're feeling a bit lonely now what i want you to imagine when this happens the planet moves further away from the sun okay and it's a little bit like all the audience leaving before the end of a show. Now, if you were doing a big performance on stage, generally the first night, if it goes well, will go really well and everybody's really high and excited and they're ready for the next, the next day. And then what often happens is there's what I call a quiet audience. Now, when I used to be on stage, <laughs> this always happened and it was always like, oh, that was the quiet audience. And it's, it's, it's really a listening audience where they're really listening, but they're not really reacting. And, you know, if something's funny or dramatic, you know, you can't even hear, you can't feel the energy because they're so intensely watching, they're forgetting to clap, laugh or do anything. And I'm sure you found that if you're watching something on TV or you're reading a book, you're so involved that you're not really, you're reacting inside maybe with pleasure or with fear, but you're not actually giving it out or talking about it. You're just closing off and just being so connected with yourself can really, uh, the people around can feel a bit kind of like, oh, they're a bit quiet. You know, they start to feel a bit inferior because you're closing them out. And that's what it feels like when you've got a listening audience on stage. It's like you're performing. Now, when you perform and you present something, you want a reaction, right? You want a clap, you want applause. And if that's not coming, it can start creating this insecurity of not being good enough, not being loved, not being worthy, not being valuable. And this is kind of what it feels like when Venus goes retrograde. So you might suddenly think, right, well, I need people to notice me now. So I'm going to go and buy some new clothes. I'm going to do take on, you know, spend loads of money, invest on some new beauty treatments. I'm going to dye my hair. I'm going to change everything because I'm feeling really, really shut out now and I'm feeling really upset. So what's the best thing to do, you know, is to do something to make a big noise so everybody can hear it. And this is kind of not the reason to do something it's like a reaction to and it's like um preempting i suppose what other people are thinking and you'll take it's taking the negative of silence or a non-reaction thinking the worst rather than the best so it's like my cup's empty i need to fill it right so i'm just going to fill it with a load of rubbish because at least it's full and i'll feel safe so this is a lot about value and that knowing that you are secure you are safe you've got what it takes that you don't need to have recognition you don't need people to be telling you how fabulous you are the whole time you may feel during this time that you just feel a bit conflicted about other people's reactions as well when they don't re they may be just little things miff you you know you get just feel miffed about it and it kind of causes you to feel uncertain again about yourself or angry now, remember, during this time, what you're giving out is what what you're feeling is what you're giving out as well. So if you're projecting that onto other people, then they are still feeling the same as you will then start projecting it back. So this could be a time of complete love where you really recognize how to love in the right way with a relationship, how to really love yourself, to take time out, to distance maybe from the outside world and just do some self-healing and some work, some inner work. Because actually it's a good time that, you know, you're not getting interfered with. You're not getting people constantly, you know, at you. So it's easier. If you can turn this around and see this silence and maybe quietness as a really positive thing. Because if people are really listening to you intently and they're saying nothing, it's because they're listening. They start, they want to hear you. If somebody is talking over you or talking at you constantly or telling you how wonderful you are and this and that, often they want something back. 
They're doing it because they're either feeling inferior because they want recognition or they just feel like they've got to give something because they want it back or because they want something from you. Okay, so you can look, there's lots of ways of viewing this. But whenever a planet goes retrograde, it is time to really look at how we react to things, how we behave, looking at things in more depth, really, because if you think about it, we're moving away. It's like moving away from the the mirror and getting a bigger a bigger perspective okay it's about stepping back and seeing something with different eyes and this is really how you love yourself how high a quality do you put on yourself you know if you constantly need someone to tell you you're good and you keep asking what do you think what do you think it's like does my bum look big in this and you get an answer or you get a reaction that's nothing right to so say you've been married for years and you say you know does my bum look big in this and you they the, your husband or your wife isn't even looking at you and they're staring and telling you at the telly and they're not paying attention they're going yeah yeah you look great no you look fine you want them to go yes you look amazing you, you don't your bum doesn't look big in that at all you look fabulous you always look beautiful and they don't do it because you're coming from a place of fear you're creating more fear you're bringing it in so their reaction is just like inducing even more insecurity when you start this is a really good time to really see how you preempt situations, how you expect things. I remember somebody saying to me long, long ago, well, should I say something? You know, should I send a message? Should I tell them, you know, ask them how they are, you know, after they've had a massive breakup? And the answer to that is, well, there is nothing stopping you doing anything if you feel it it's a really valuable thing to do for you and the situation because it's a quality gesture if you really want to know how someone is because you really really genuinely love them you want them to feel great about themselves this isn't about you feeling horrible yes you've had a horrible breakup you don't really know if they want to continue but you genuinely are concerned because the behavior is a bit odd and you really want to just see how they are then that's a good thing to put out there it's like Never be afraid to tell someone you love them. If they don't say it back or they behave badly, it's up to them. It's their feelings. You need to own your feelings. But preempting of what they're going to say or how they're going to react is not really giving them the opportunity to react. But if you just do it without expectation and you do it with love and with, you know, you're, it's really from a true soul calling in your heart to do so because something is saying, I think this person will really actually this is really going to help the situation with them. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get back together. It doesn't mean they're going to answer me. It doesn't matter. But I'll feel better because actually I don't want to be in a place of anger anymore or hate. I actually do genuinely care about this person. So this time is really to look at things a lot closer at how you feel about things, how, you know, how your relationship works, how your feelings work, how your reactions are how your, you know, addictive behaviour can come in, how you might, you know, you go into temptation, you know, what, what draws you in, what doesn't. This is a great time to, again, work with self-worth, self-love and create a better connection with your own heart. So during this time, enjoy the space, enjoy the silence listen to your own thoughts and what's going on and ask yourself are they valuable are these condemning thoughts or are these really positive empowering thoughts recognize your emotional reactions connect with them feel the discomfort if necessary and then put a positive slant on them so that you're not being eaten away with them you see when you don't recognize something it keeps knocking it's going to keep coming to your door and wanting attention. It's like when you push something away because you don't want it, it comes forwards, right? It's like if you let something go, it comes back. If you keep, if you keep, when you're pushing, you're actually focusing, right? You're putting a lot of effort into it. You're pushing it down. So it's just pushing its way up even harder and harder. And it's still there because you're still connected to it. If you meet it head on and you say, hey, what do you want? You can deal with it. You know, you can pull the plaster off quickly and you can let it free. But pushing it away is, again, not giving the value of some to someone else. It's not giving 
a quality option to the, the situation. It's creating a disadvantage straight away because you're already manifesting the worst. You're holding the fear in. You're holding the ugliness in. So use this time to start really, really connecting with the value of everything around you. Some relationships may get better, some may not. OK, I feel if they this is a time where they can really connect, where you can start, you know, um, understanding love, real love, what that means. And, and, you know, if someone is distancing themselves within the relationship, it's about, you know, doing maybe you've been distancing yourself maybe it's about recognizing that you're not spending enough time together because you're feeling lonely and you realize actually the relationship would be better if we did this you know we can actually work on it functioning better so whatever you do the don'ts are don't go and get a new hairstyle don't think that when you meet someone the first time it's going to be the biggest love of your life knee-jerk re reactions into rebound um situations aren't necessarily going to be good for you just accept it is an it's a rebound and it may not last okay don't go buy big expensive gifts just to cheer yourself up to fill the pot because it feels empty do self-love self-worth affirmations giving looking at the value of your things remanaging things looking at the quality of your life upping your value Practicing techniques to do that. Look deeper at your, your relationships and how they work and how you react and what triggers happen. And see this as a learning time, a time to develop, develop and nurture your inner beauty and start feeling beautiful so that that projects out to the world. And then you will create more light, you'll bring in more joy and then you will attract the right love. So I hope this has helped you. If you'd like a private session with me, consultation, um, to develop self-worth um, or just a reading in general or past life you name it go to the website www.saraperry.me and look out for my new courses that are coming up dun, dun, dun. and if you want some information on those um, to subscribe to my email list then please do go to the website or send me a little message and I will get back to you. Take care, lots of love and healing.